The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. Remember one time I was speaking for an organization. I'll never forget this. And I was working on a project, a real estate project in Baltimore. Now this organization was further south on the, on the East Coast. It was like in the Carolinas, that area. So I called the organization and I said, I'm in, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Maryland on business. I didn't realize it. I'm coming to you to speak for you for free. Do you mind just switching my ticket? And they gave me a dance. Forget about it. No, it's so expensive to switch a ticket. I said, yeah, but I'm, in, I'm there the day before. I'm going to have to travel back to New York and fly. Well, it's so much money to change a ticket. Okay. I'll never forget. I was in Baltimore that morning. I woke up at four, got on a train to New York, took a train to my home. So I landed in Penn Station, got on an LIR to my home, got in my car, drove to the airport, New York, flew down to North Carolina or whatever, South Carolina. I remember which one it was. Got from the airport. To the, to, the, to the organization. And I remember walking into the room to speak and there were like, like seven people in the audience. And the person organizing was like, yeah, I had a busy week. I'm sorry, I just didn't put the people together. And I remember feeling like, what? I'm like, Dude, I've been traveling for like 20 hours. <laughs> like I could have gone to Israel and back. And I remember feeling so unappreciated. Not that I, I deserve to be appreciated more. Not that I'm like anyone special, but just the, the schlep. Just the work. To not even like work to. And I was so turned off. And I called my rabbi for encouragement. And he said to me that every second that you did what you did isn't for anyone else. It's because that's your mission. It's not if you would have gotten there quicker and they would have, you're looking at the details of it. Every second that you're engaged in the activity that you believe is the right activity is valuable into itself. You didn't go down for them. You didn't go down for to be able to try to, to speak to X amount of people. You didn't go down to someone said, thank you so much. You didn't go down. So what you did was you engaged in an activity because that's your mission. And take pride and take pleasure in what you think you're doing, which, which you think if what you're doing is correct. It doesn't matter if they appreciate it. It doesn't matter if nobody shows up. It doesn't matter if it takes you all day. What matters is that you are moving in a direction that you believe is right. And if you do, then the journey itself is just as valuable as anything you can get from the journey. That was years ago. Never forget it. We have to realize that anytime we do something good for somebody else, we're doing more for ourselves than we think. When we're engaged in behavior that we believe is good, right behavior, it's the behavior that's valuable. It's not the reaction. It's not what we get that's valuable. When you tell somebody something positive about them and they don't respond, it's irrelevant to you. You engaged in behavior that is becoming of somebody who is a soul. You engaged in behavior that is contributing positive, divine energy into this world. You've done something that is so valuable that you may never fully appreciate it until you're in the, the, in the afterlife and you see all the light that you brought into this world. If somebody appreciates it, wonderful. If somebody doesn't, it's just fine because we believe at our core that this is why we're here. This is my job.